college football week 11 and we have a great slate of games the maryland terrapins head out to eugene and are 25 point underdogs now the question is does maryland have a shot in their first ever game in the state of oregon because maryland has been running a very pass heavy offense under josh gaddis but it's an imbalanced offense that has had trouble finishing drops because the Terrapins are fourth in pass attempts per game and 31st in total touchdown passes. And if you are going to hang with Oregon, you need to be able to run the football and Maryland doesn't. And so far, it looks like they can't. And this Oregon defense has been very salty because if you are going to drop back pass, the combination of Mateo Uyangalele, Jordan, Jordan, Birch and company are going to be in the backfield. And if you can't run the football, it is going to be a problem. So what about defensively though for Maryland? Because Maryland defends the run well and has talented defensive backs that can literally make plays, but they've given up big plays all year long in the passing game. And this is a team that is 90th in the country in third down defensive conversions allowed. And even without Taz Johnson this game at wide out for the Ducks, this is gonna be a feast for the hyper-efficient Ducks offense. And what I'm looking for from Oregon this week is for Dylan Gabriel to go out there without his top wide receiver and cement his name into the Heisman conversation. Cause he's leading the Big 10 in passing yards and passing touchdowns. And he is leading the entire country in completion percentage because Gabriel's name isn't being floated around as much as it deserves to be like Cam Ward and with Ashton Jeans. Because here's the truth. Cam Ward's defense is carrying him to a Heisman finalist because they're giving up so many points. He has no choice but to score a ton of points, which piles up the stats. But that's also the same thing that we saw out of Jaden Daniels winning the Heisman Trophy last year as well, and Caleb Williams at USC the year before. So this has a recipe for it, and Ashton GT has slowed down. So we're going to see if Dylan Gabriel can put up some gaudy stats in this game to really submit himself as a finalist. But now the ultimate question is, George, who are you taking? Will Oregon cover this 25 points? Here's what I know. Good teams win, great teams cover. And Oregon has been covering this year. So I am going to take the Ducks minus 25. This is going to be an opportunity for them to, with Tez Johnson out, for them to get more of Treshawn Holden, to get more of Evan Stewart in the past game, to potentially get a Jurion Dickey sighting, to, to get more out of a big Noah Whittington game at running back because they are not going to burn the candle at both ends with either him or Jordan James to make sure that they are healthy down the stretch because the whole entire point for this Oregon team at this point is to be getting better and to be peaking at the right time when it is time to play the Big Ten Championship and then head into the college football playoff. So give me the Ducks minus 25.